Hi guys, welcome back to The Far Side of Normal. I know it's been a while. Um, I don't know if you are a follower of my blog post, but the reason why I've been out of commission for so long, um, my mom lost her battle with stage four colon cancer a couple of weeks ago. And so with that, we just had our funeral recently and I've been out of commission. I'm trying to jump back in and kind of get used to the new normal. Thus, we have a new video, but I'm going to let you know it's from a couple of weeks back or probably three episodes back before the season finale of Supernatural season 14. All right, so let's jump in it. Um, it is the episode where if you haven't watched it, then it's going to be all kind of a spoiler, but it's your own thing. Paul. Mary Winchester gets killed by Jack. Now, a lot of people have strong emotions and feelings <laughs> about this episode, the way that Mary died, um, the fact that Jack killed her. So this is, in my humble opinion, just my opinion. If you know anything about psychology um, or people, human nature, or even nature, I'm going to just say it. It may not be the popular opinion, but I'm going to stick with it. It was 100% Mary's fault that she died. And let me explain why. One, you know that a child, because Jack is two, by the way, is hurting, or anyone for that matter, that he's hurting, he's going through a lot. You think he might be soulless. The thing that you don't want to do is provoke or antagonize people or push people. When they're already at their breaking point, the thing not to do is to push them. And I know, especially when people are having a disagreement or an argument, a lot of times one party wants to be like, no, let's finish it, come back, we need to get on with it, and just wrap this up. The other party may not be so willing because they have to think about things, process, and then come back to fight another day, so to speak. With Mary, she kept pushing and pushing and pushing. What did Jack do? He walked away. As he's walking away, what is he telling her? Leave me alone. But she keeps pushing and pushing and pushing. Now, I don't know if people have ever had this happen or seen this happen in a movie, TV, real life. If you push or corner an injured person or animal, what's their instinct? It's to lash out or to fight and then flight or maybe both at the same time, or flight if they can't fight. But you don't poke an injured bear. You don't poke an injured animal. And Jack is walking wounded. He's wounded because he's soulless. He's wounded because he just killed Lucifer, which he thinks is a good thing. Mary thinks it's a horrible way that he died, and that's not the Winchester way. Another thing that makes it 100% Mary's fault, not a word of lie, you don't throw people under the bus when they're at their darkest. So what did she say? Jack, this is not the way we do things. Okay, that's fine. But explain to him why and let him know that you're going to help him to get better. Don't say what. I'm going to tell the boys. What are you thinking? What kind of reaction did you expect? you would receive. But then also, she's like, no, it's not gonna be okay. Okay, if someone's having a meltdown or going through a really hard time and they just did something ridiculous, the thing not to say is it's not gonna be okay, it's irreparable, and I'm gonna go tell your people that you love more in the world than anybody and you look up to and want to be proud of you. Really? That's on you, Mary, I'm sorry. Your death is 100% on you. It could have absolutely been avoided. With that being said, partly Jack, yes, a little bit, but you have to understand, he's two. What two-year-old do you know is rational? I'll wait. Yeah, two-year-olds are not rational. Also, he's a super being. And a uh, big fact, he doesn't have a soul. Um... Hello, that's not Jack's fault. That is 100% on Mary. Here's a hint. The next time you have a disagreement, argument, someone's going through something or they're struggling and they tell you to leave them alone or they walk away, give them space and time. 
It may not be what you want in the moment, but it is absolutely within their right to say this is what not only do they want, but they need. Because again, you may not have a super all-powerful entity or being, but nine out of 10, the reaction, if you push them or provoke them or keep at them is not gonna end well, just like with Mary and Jack. Now you might not die, but you may get your feelings hurt or you may kill a friendship or a relationship it can't be on your time it has to be on that person's time and i know it's hard because there's a lot of people that think we just need to get this out on the table and clear it the air i need it done now well that's fine and great for you but not everybody's built like you so the next time you have a disagreement or a misunderstanding remember if people ask or even demand time probably the wise thing to do is give it. That's all I have for this week, you guys. Um, hopefully the videos will be more consistent. They'll be lighter, I hope. Um, <laughs> we gotta talk about the finale because my brain is still like, I don't even know what just happened. Between that finale and then I finally, because I was like, I don't know if I can take it. I had to recuperate from Supernatural's finale. So I finally went and saw the Avengers Endgame. I'm not saying anything, but my chest hurts. And my heart still hurts. And I'm thinking, okay, what I need this year is for no more big endings and no more heartbreak. Now, I know I can't control that, but Cotton Pickin', can y'all help a sister out? Like, I just need love. I just need love and great things and ponies and rainbows and chocolate and just great things the rest of this year. I think I've filled my quota for drama, trauma, heartache, tragedy, and grief and lost. Yeah. So with that being said, <laughs> say a prayer for me, guys. I need it. Um, thank you for Winchester Wisdom Wednesday. I hope that you guys are having the best week ever. Um, until next time, sweet deans and sweet Sams.